when a hamburger arrives on my table, what does it involve in terms of climate change? There are a lot of scientific reports made about the cost of meat eating. So I'm sure you are asking for the sake of uh, people who may not be aware. So please allow me to state some of the cost of what we are dealing with for the next time one is about to eat a hamburger. The cost of a hamburger appears to us as cheap, but without the enormous subsidies involved in the meat industry, the real monetary cost of a hamburger would be much higher, much higher, at least 12 US dollars. There are so many costs and resources involved for that one hamburger that you are asking about from the field to the plate, and all the processes in between, from burning the precious forest to growing the corn and soy to feed the cows, to making the fertilizer and watering these uh, feed crops, to giving the cows huge amounts of healthy land and water, hormones and antibiotics, are also forcefully fed to the cows, and we will eat all that, huh? Then the transport over long distances here and there, and finally to the slaughterhouse, to freezing the meat so that it does not rot as it is supposed to. Then finally it has to be cooked before reaching the plate, and cooked well because, for example, the U.S. Department of Agriculture found that 89% of beef hamburger patties contain traces of the deadly E. coli bacteria. 89%, huh? 89% of the beef hamburger contain trace of E. coli. So there is more that goes in the hamburger than what you think you see. Here are just a few examples. Destruction of land. First, land must be cleared to raise the cows. For one hamburger, there are 55 square feet of destroyed tropical rainforest, which is uh, an equivalent of 75 kilogram of CO2, or driving your car for five days straight. Also, biodiversity loss. In the process, we lose up to 30 plant species 100 insect species, I mean the beneficial one, eh? as well, and dozens of birds, mammals, etc. Now, it contributes to hunger. Some of the deforested land is used to grow grains. Oftentimes, poor families are forced off their land in the process. One hamburger costs four pounds of grain that was consumed by the cow. That's about three loaves of bread or eight plates of spaghetti that could have fed a number of hungry people. So, another cold cost of a hamburger is human starvation. Now, we have topsoil loss. For one hamburger, 10 pounds of topsoil for farming are eroded and lost for hundreds of years. A very serious problem. Now, greenhouse gases. Next, one hamburger alone is responsible for greenhouse gas emissions. The methane gas emitted for that piece of meat alone weighs approximately 4.7 ounces, but it has the same heat trapping effect as 6.8 pounds of CO2, because methane is very potent. Water waste. Not only land and food, but water is also required in huge amounts. Just one hamburger costs 625 gallons of clean water, or it would cost you about 45 showers. A month and a half or two months without taking a shower for one hamburger alone. Imagine that. On a side note, one cow in his lifetime before slaughter uses enough fresh water to float a large naval ship. 
Imagine that again. Just one cow. Now we have fossil fuel waste. One hamburger costs thousands of miles of transportation, all the way from the pasture to the feedlot, then all the way to slaughterhouse, and then to the market. So no matter if you try to buy your food locally to save emissions or not, you can't win if you eat meat. There is much more greenhouse gas that goes into this hamburger. In fact, one hamburger uses up 6.5 pounds of fossil fuels, or about a quarter gallon of gasoline. That's over 16 times the amount needed for one full nutritious vegan meal. Now we have health hazard. There is also the cost in lives. In just one hamburger party, there are pieces of dozens or sometimes even hundreds of individual cows, all their flesh mixed together, and you are getting more than what you think you're buying. You are buying a health hazard. There is saturated fat, which causes heart disease and stroke. There are also extra things such as growth-inducing hormones, traces of antibiotics that are fed regularly to the poor cow, the actual bacteria that are resistant to those antibiotics. These resistant bacteria are called superbugs. So the added cost here is a multifold risk to our health. There are even more costs after the hamburger is eaten. For example, a woman loses 28 milligrams of calcium after eating just one hamburger, which weakens her bones. And there is rampant risk of potentially deadly E. coli infection as beef is a primary source of this bacteria. And again, there are risks of heart disease, cancer, mad cow disease, bird flu, pig disease, swine flu, and other meat-related diseases. We also have other human causes, like the poor families being pushed off their land for cattle production the adults and children of the world who are perishing due to hunger, the grief and sorrow of the families who lost loved ones due to meat-related diseases, etc., etc. As for the bigger picture of how much meat-eating is costing our planet, the cows in such unnaturally huge numbers, more than one billion on the planet, are responsible for more than 50% or even far more of total greenhouse emissions on the earth. Nitrous oxide, which is 300 times more potent than CO2, is being emitted in vast quantities from the fertilizers required to produce uh, the food crops for the cattle. The livestock industry produces at least 67% of all the world's nitrous oxide emissions. So, a hamburger, as you can see, is clearly unaffordable, not only in global warming, but also in deforestation, soil erosion, and desertification water shortage, water pollution, loss of biodiversity, not to mention the negative health and bad karmic consequence prices we also have to pay, and loss of lives, precious lives. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd.